Oh yes, you are welcome again. Let's take this question. Solve for x and y in each of the following if x and y are real numbers. We have a 3x plus 6i is equal to minus 9 plus 2yi. b 9 minus 2y in bracket i is equal to 6x plus 8i. C, I, open bracket, 2x plus 4y, close bracket, equal to 2x minus 4, in bracket, plus 3y, i. Then D, 2x plus y, in bracket, plus 3x minus 4y, in bracket, i, is equal to x minus 2, in bracket, plus 4y minus 5, in bracket, i. Okay? So we are asked to find the value of x and y please pay attention to this okay good let's go number a they say 3x plus 6i is equal to minus 9 plus 2y i so in this place what we are going to do is this let's focus on identifying the real part and then the imaginary part in this complex number so when we identify them we will equal them the real part in the first side is equal to the real part in the second side the imaginary part in the first side is equal to the imaginary part in the second side okay now you discover that how you will identify your real part and your imaginary part so your real part always stands alone and then your imaginary part we have i attached to it okay then you remember that we have z is equal to x plus i y so the part that i is attached to is what the imaginary part now let's go in this uh expression we have 3x plus 6i is equal to minus 9 plus 2yi so our real part in the left hand side is what 3x so it's equal to our real part in the other side which is minus 9 so 3x is equal to what minus 9 so we are looking for x 3x divided by 3 is equal to minus 9 divided by 3 so x is equal to what minus 3 okay now in the other hand we are going to compare the imaginary part here and the imaginary part in the second side. Okay, let's equal them. So we're going to have the imaginary part in the right hand side is equal to what? 2y equal to the imaginary part in the left hand side is equal to 6. So we have 2yi is equal to 6i. We are looking for y. Let's divide both sides by 2. So we're going to have 2y all over 2 is equal to 6 all over 2. So 2 we can shoot through here. So we have y is equal to 3. Okay? So x in our a, x is equal to minus 3. And then y is equal to 3. Let's take b. We have b 9 minus 2y i is equal to 6x plus 8i. So in this place... The real part in the left hand side is 9 and then the real part in the other side is what 6x so let's equal them so half 9 is equal to 6x we're looking for x so let's divide both sides by 6 so we have 9 all over 6 is equal to 6x all over 6 so x is equal to 9 all over 6 9 all over 6 can be reduced into the lowest term which is what 3 all over 2 so therefore x is equal to 3 all over 2 more also the imaginary part in the left hand side is 2y then the imaginary part in the right hand side is 8 so we can equal them so we can say 2 minus 2y is equal to 8 so we are looking for what y let's verbal side by minus 2 so we have minus 2y all over 2 is equal to 8 all over 2 so y is equal to minus 4 so therefore in b we have x is equal to 3 all over 2 and then y is equal to minus 4 let's go number c 
we have i open bracket 2x plus 4y equal to 2x minus 4 in bracket plus 3y i okay now our real part in the left hand side is what is zero and then our real part in the right hand side is 2x minus 4 so let's equal equal it okay now that means we are going to have 2x minus 4 is equal to 0 hello okay that means we have what 2x minus 4 is equal to 0 so let's take minus 4 to the other side why it is going it to turn to plus 4 so we have 2x is equal to plus 4 we are looking for x divided by 2 so we have 2x divided by 2 is equal to 4 divided by 2 x is equal to 4 divided by 2 is 2 so therefore we have x is equal to 2 now uh, we have the imaginary part in the left hand side is what 2x plus 4y and then the imaginary part in the right hand side is 3y let's equal it so we're going to have 2x plus 4y equal to 3y so we have 2x let's take 4y to the other side to be 2x equal to 3y minus 4y so 3y minus 4y is minus y so we have 2x is equal to minus y but where we have just solved now we discovered our x is what 2 let's equate it here so we have 2 open bracket 2 is equal to minus y so 2 times 2 is equal to 4 so we have 4 is equal to minus y we are looking for y not minus y let's divide both sides by minus 1 so we have 4 divided by minus 1 is equal to minus y divided by minus 1 so y is equal to minus 4 so therefore we discover that x is equal to 2 and then y is equal to minus 4 let's take the last one which is d and then d we have 2x plus y in bracket plus 3s minus 4y in bracket i is equal to x minus 2 in bracket plus 4y minus 5 in bracket i okay so here also we're going to say the real part equal to the real part imaginary part equal to the imaginary part okay so the real part in the first side is what 2x plus y equal to the real part in the other side is x minus 2 okay so we have 2x plus y equal to x minus 2 so let's collect the like terms so we're gonna have 2x minus x plus y equal to minus 2 we just rearrange okay good uh, when we say 2x minus x what is it going to give us going to give us x then we have x plus y is equal to minus 2 so please let's make x the subject so we're going to have x is equal to minus 2 minus y x is equal to minus 2 minus y let's hold on now in our imaginary part in the first side is giving us 3x minus 4y the imaginary part in the second side is giving us 4y minus 5 so we can say 3x minus 4y is equal to 4y minus 5 okay now let's go We'll say 3x is equal to, let's take minus 4y to the other side. Then we'll say 4y plus 4y minus 5. Okay? So we have 3x is equal to 4y plus 4y minus 5. So 4y plus 4y is what? 8y minus 5. So we have 3x is equal to 8y minus 5. Okay? Now let's go. But you discovered that we just solved an discover that x is equal to minus 2 minus y let's equate it here where we see x so that means we're going to have 3 open bracket instead of writing x now we have found a new value for x which is minus 2 minus y let's replace it so we're going to have 3 open bracket minus 2 minus y okay equal to 8y minus 5 let's open this bracket we're going to have 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. 3 times minus y is minus 3y. Equal to 8y minus 5. Okay? Good. Let's take 8y to the other side. So we're going to have minus 3y. Y coming to be minus 8y equal to... Uh, 
let's take minus 6 to the other side. So we have minus 5 plus 6. Okay? So we have minus 3y minus 8y is equal to minus 5 plus 6. So therefore, minus 3y minus 8y is equal to minus 11y. Equal to minus 5 plus 6 is 1. So we have minus 11y is equal to 1. We are looking for y. Let's divide both sides by minus 11. So we have minus 11y divided by minus 11 is equal to 1 divided by minus 11. So y is equal to minus 1 all over 11. y is equal to minus 1 all over 11. But you discover that we are yet to find the value for what? For x. So let's go back. Since we have found the value for y, let's equate or substitute for y so we have x is equal to minus 2 minus y so here we discover that y is equal to minus 1 all over 11 so let's equate it so we have x is equal to minus 2 minus open bracket minus 1 all over 11 so we have x is equal to minus 2 so when we say minus, when we open this bracket, we'll say minus times minus 1 all over 11 is going to give us plus 1 all over 11. Then, so we are going to have x is equal to minus 2 plus 1 all over 11. So x is equal to when you say minus 2 plus 1 all over 11 is going to give you minus 21 all over 11. So therefore, x is equal to minus 21 all over 11. And then y is equal to minus 1 all over 11. Hello, x is equal to minus 21 all over 11 and y is equal to minus 1 all over 11. Thank you very much for watching. Please, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe for more videos. Now, let's take more example.